All right, guys, back here with another analysis. Um, so if you guys didn't watch John's video, um, I just want to mention that uh, these are going to be a little less in depth. Um, so I apologize on that. Please bear with me. Uh, I'm just having a lot of problems with my hand right now and uh, writing notes and or typing for long periods of time. is just uh, it's it's a lot harder um, and makes this um, not as enjoyable as I normally would like like it. So um, this is gonna be a lot of me checking back and forth on, on my thoughts, on moves, uh, whether things are correct and what I say, rather than having everything written out like I normally do. Um, on top of that, I'm not gonna be listing all the important moves like I normally do. Um, I'm gonna be going off of you know some things that I think are gonna be important in matches, uh, stuff like that. So <clears throat> I'm sorry. Please bear with me. Um, but today we're going to be looking at Matt's team. Now, um, Matt's team, I scored a 39.5. Uh, I think his team is better than the score says. And the reason the score says what it says is because he's just got some overlapping weaknesses that I think he could get rid of and his team would be a, a top tier team. Um, it's just he's got a lot of overlapping weaknesses, but he's got a lot of things covering those weaknesses So it's it's a very strange um, change occurrence that I've seen on a team. I haven't seen like like this uh, in my analysis before but So uh, starting off uh, with the offense here uh, I scored his offense an eight and a half. So uh, An example of this I think his offense is is almost a ten um, you know Mega Diancy is an absolute monster. It's a wall breaker. It's great. It's got good coverage, good stab. <clears throat> and you have Rain with Politoed and Beriscuta. Uh, you not to mention you have Water Bubble and Rain with um, Rockwinid. You have Tail Glow Manaphy, which is flying under the radar right now. Uh, this thing can be and should be sweeping teams. Uh, it's base 100 stats all across the board. Um, that is faster than a lot of the teams that are that are out there right now um, <clears throat> But the thing that's holding this back is uh, just just some common or overlapping weaknesses, so you have <clears throat> You have one two three uh, four electric weaknesses you have One two three fighting weaknesses you have one two um, three four and I'll count Pile of Swine as a knockoff weakness because it doesn't want its TV light knocked off. Uh, that's dark weaknesses or knockoff weaknesses. Um, where is the other one? I think that's it. Yeah. You do have two Earthquake weaknesses as well between Delph Box and... Or three. Uh, so there's another one. Uh, Earthquake weakness between Mega Diancy, Mag Magneton, and Delphox. So you can see what I'm saying with these overlapping these weaknesses. What this does, whether your offense or defense is good or not, this allows the opponent to team build a lot easier and just throw on one move that's going to cover multiple Pokemon. It's going to allow them to mix up their move sets more. It's going to allow them to spread out the versatility of their team more. Um, that's the problem with common weaknesses or overlapping weaknesses. It's it's. No, not a matter of, well, I have all these things to cover. It's like, yeah, but the opponent can just throw an Earthquake and cover three or four of your Pokemon. Uh, you know, he doesn't have to worry too much. And then it allows him to run an extra move. Since he wouldn't have to run, you know, let's say, uh, you know, he's running Earthquake for Mega Diancy and Delphox. Uh, he doesn't have to run, you know, a water move or... Um, that's another one, <laughs> a water weakness between Pile of Swine, Mega Diancy, and Delphox. Uh, he doesn't have to run like, you know, uh, uh, a steel move for Diancy and then uh, Earthquake for Delphox. He can just run Earthquake and it covers both of them. So, um, but yeah, anyways, his offense though, um, after I get uh, the reason why it's an eight and a half and that's the reason why the defense is also down as well. So I'll get into it later. Uh, but yeah, his offense, I mean, like I said, Diancy's got great coverage. Um, you have Manaphy with Tail Glow. You have uh, Politoed and Beriscuta. You have the Rain Boost at a Rockwinid, which is really underrated. Uh, you Choice Band, Water Bubble, Behind the Rain. Um, I believe that one hit KOs a lot of the cast. Like a lot. 
So you also have, um, you know, uh, good momentum between Barascuda, flip turn, you have parting shot slash U turn on uh, Lola Persian. Um, you know, you have sticky webs on a rock when it to make sure the speed control is there if you don't want to run rain. Just a lot of good options uh, for, for offense here. And then you have Latias that can be Calm Mind, Store Power. Um, don't think it gets Cosmic Power. <clears throat> no one of them. Yeah, Calm Mind. Uh, you know, Weakness Policy, Calm Mind, Store Power. Uh, and it can also be a Dragon Dance set as well. Um, Barascuda, just super fast speed control uh, between Barascuda, Persian, Latias, Delphox, uh, Mega Dancy, uh, even Manaphy to some extent. You have Magneton to trap the Steel types for Mega Dancy. Just a lot of control. He has a lot of control and he has a lot of things to cover. You know his, his Mon's backs. It's just like there's a lot of Mon's that uh, have overlapping weaknesses. So when he builds a team, it's going to be really hard for him to not have these. Uh, overwhelming weaknesses that the opponent can just throw one move on and cover multiple types so uh but the you know um the offensive part of his team i think is is really good i think it's going to be about him mixing up that offense though not just running you know mega diancy uh latias delphox Barascuda every match for offense you know you see a gorgeist in there or a um nasty plot persian in there or a teoglo manaphy in there or a Spexed Politoed in there. <clears throat> you know, things like that, right? But, um... Alright, so... <laughs> that was a lot of fast talking about the offense. Uh, that went by way faster than uh, I usually would. I was just blurting out everything that I was thinking in my head. Um, yeah, so usually when I'm going down the list, the reason why that I like writing things down is because I can follow an order. There I was just kind of going all over the place. Um, so I'm not going to reiterate it because uh, I already reiterated how the offense was going to go. But we'll move on to defense, which I scored a six and a half. Now, it's a very deceiving score, OK, because he's got really good defensive options and Pokemon that work well together. OK, uh, you know, he's got Piloswine with Thick Fat uh, and Bronzong. Now, Bronzong um, can cover the fighting weakness. Uh, and Palace Wine can cover that fire weakness. Uh, so they pair up really well. Uh, they also both have stealth rocks, so that's going to free up move slots for them, or they can both run it to make sure that it's like rocks are going to always be on the field. Um, you have a Lola Persian that can also pair with Bronzong since it's dark type. Parting Shot has U turn. Uh, it's going to make sure those knockoffs aren't going to be um, being dealt to the Bronzong since Bronzong really likes to keep its leftovers. <clears throat> Uh, you have Levitate on Latias to circumvent that uh, earthquake earthquake weakness between Diancy, Magneton, and Delphox. Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, it's the things that are making this defense really low. It's not things like that, because, like I said, he's got he's got his backs covered. He's got a Rockwinid for the earthquakes. Uh, he also has Gorgeist for earthquakes. Um, you know, he's got uh, Paloswine for the ice attacks uh, on Latias and Gorgeist. Um, and he's also got Paloswine for the electric type attacks on Manaphy, Politoed, um, Araquanid, and, and um, <clears throat> Barascuda. Uh, you know, he's got lots of things to cover his Pokemon's back. It's just that there is so many overlapping weaknesses uh, that it's going to allow his opponent to just run, like I said, one attack or two attacks, and it's going to cover the whole team or half the team. Right, so those overlapping weaknesses, you have a ground weakness, you have a big fighting weakness, you have a big dark weakness or a knockoff weakness, um, you have a big electric weakness. <clears throat> you know, um, those are things that uh, could be cleaned up a little bit. <clears throat> Do I think the team's bad? No, <laughs> the team's a 39 and a half. That's, that's almost above average. So it's just those overlapping weaknesses where you may have to get rid of a couple things you like to make sure that you can cover those weaknesses a little bit better. Uh, you know, it's it, it all, you know, it, it also all comes down to how you're going to run the team. Uh, what's your, what's your six Pokemon? What are their jobs? What do they got to do? What are they covering? How well do you play those Pokemon? Right? 
like I said, in the in the team analysis here, it's not all about those five categories that I have. You know, people team build, uh, and their team building can be A plus, and that's what makes their team so good. You know, in my other draft, Calvin, you know, he builds a lot of teams that might look mediocre on paper, but he makes them really really good. Um, you know, Jonas is another one who does the same thing. On paper, they look not very great right away, and then all of a sudden, they're just waltzing right through the whole draft. They're, you know, they're 5 0 ing 6 0 ing They're beating people handedly, you know. <clears throat> There's a lot more that goes into it than just these five categories. Um, mixing up this team, uh, especially on the defensive side, is going to be important. Like I said, how he pairs those mons together is also going to be important in this team building uh, to make sure that defense. Uh, is is not actually a six and a half uh, and the opponent is is overwhelmed by how good the actual pairing is it's just um, those overlapping weaknesses need to be uh, built accordingly so <clears throat> but next we have speed here so speed I scored a nine now uh, he's got speed control with the rock it he's got speed control with swift swim uh, but you have pretty decent speed um, you have You have 350 uh, Jolly or Timid or whatever you run on Diancie, 350 speed. Uh, you have Manaphy that reaches 328. You have Delphox that I think is 348. Sorry, 337. You have Latius, which is 350. You have Below the Persian, which is 361. Yep, you have uh, Barrascuta, 377, 371. Close on all of these. Um, so, you know, you pair that with webs. I mean, this cast is basically outspeeding every single Pokemon. Um, you know, it would, you know, Bear Scooter with webs up will outspeed. Uh, and it would outspeed Mega Swampert. Okay. Uh, but I believe Delphi. Mega Swampert. Ooh, not quite. Mega Diancie. Okay, yeah. So Latias and Mega Diancie, uh, and Alola Persian, all behind webs will outspeed a Mega Swampert in rain. So very important note to make. As speed tiers are are good. Are good in the sense that it's gonna basically outspeed everything uh you know whether it's weather whether it's really fast pokemon uh you know unless it's like a jolteon with scarf or something like that um or Zuraiora with scarf <clears throat> it's basically gonna outspeed the whole cast right so um the speed control is really great between the the rain on barrascuta and the um the the webs on rockwood end here so uh a pretty fast team overall as well uh, I believe this is one of the faster teams drafted. Not just because of the speed in the webs, just overall. I mean, you got 337, or you got 350, 328, 337, 350, 361, 371. I think Gorgeist is actually moderately fast as well. Yeah, Gorgeist is uh, 84 base, so 293, which is which is great. Because uh, base 80 is like, you know, your average. And so base 84, you're outspeeding those base 80 speeds, which is pretty good. Generally, you want Pokemon that are, you know, a couple over 100. So he's got multiple, which is really, really great. Um, a really, really great uh, point to Matt's team here. Um, moving down the list, we have Hazards. So Hazards, I scored at 8.5. Now he's got Rocks on Palaswine, Rocks on Bronzong, <coughs> Webs on Araquanid. And he also has rocks on Diancie. So what that does, guys, like I mentioned in every single one of my videos, basically, uh, with the teams that do have these available, is this frees up move slots, okay? If you're running both Palaswine, Bronzong, Mega Diancie, only one of them needs to run rocks. So with that said, you can run an extra move. You know, Bronzong doesn't have to run rocks. He can run Toxic, and then he can run, you know, maybe uh, a boosting move or... <clears throat> 
or run more um, attack moves, coverage moves, anything like that, or future sight, right? Uh, it, it, it makes the team versatile and harder to predict. That's what's important here. It's, it's, it's important in draft to be able to do that, okay? So when you draft two Pokemon that are reliable rockers like this, it's a very good starting point to team building, all right? <clears throat> now, as for hazard removal, that's where it gets a little bit, a little bit weird, okay? Is probably could have been a little less. Now I'm looking at it. But Magic Bounce Omega Diancy is no scoff. It or like you know, don't brush it off. It's pretty annoying to deal with. Um, since you won't be able to burn it, you won't be able to toxic it. Uh, you can't set up spikes. You can't set up rocks. You can't taunt. You can't. Um, uh, I believe Parting Shot also. Yeah, par yeah, Parting Shot doesn't work because it gets yeah. But uh, anyways, yeah. Um, and then you have only Defog on Adios, I believe. Yeah. So not the greatest hazard control, I'd say. Great hazard setting. Not the greatest hazard control, though. Um, so really what Map is going to want to do here is employ the tactic, uh, tactic of pressuring the opponent to Defog. Set up those webs, set up those rocks. Uh, if the opponent sets up rocks or webs before you, basically you got to make sure you set them up too. Uh, force the opponent into position to defog so that you don't have to. Um, I believe that's probably going to be the strategy in most of his games. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> it's 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 not a bad strategy to do that. It's just um, employing it is something you got to stick to. So uh, whether you you know send out pilot's mind first, set up rocks, and just um, just assert that behavior right away, right? So, um, I think that's all that I would mention here in hazards. He doesn't really got, I mean, he's got bronze on with screens. That's probably all I got to say about the hazards though. Um, and then we have momentum, okay? Momentum is a seven. So this team I found a little bit weird uh, how to rate on momentum. Not that it was bad or anything like that. <clears throat> I just felt, um, you have Barrascuta with Rain, but like Barrascuta isn't like a Swamper, you know? Like Swamper can sweep the whole team. Uh, Barrascuta isn't really gonna do that. Um, Barrascuta wants to come in, abuse the Rain with Flip Turn, uh, and keep that really big chip damage, uh, basically bruiser damage uh, with, that, with that Rain and just keep cycling through that. Um, the momentum for his team here is coming from snowball effects, okay? So you have Tail Glow on Manaphy, uh, and you have... You have either Dragon Dance or Weakness Policy Latias. But other than that, there isn't a whole lot of momentum or snowball here. Uh, basically what I find with Matt's teams is, uh, the, the wins are, would usually be slow, painful deaths for the opponent, is how I would explain it. You're basically going to get chipped away by rocks, you're going to get chipped away by flip turn, you're going to get parting shotted, you're going to do less damage to him, he's going to toxic you, and then all of a sudden, you know, 20, 30 turns in, bam, Manaphy comes in, tail glows, ends the game. Mega Diancy comes out, outspeeds your whole team, ends the game. Barrascuta comes in later in the game behind rain, liquidations the whole team, <clears throat> you know? Things like that. That's where I feel like his team is is really gonna um, shine. Is is slow, methodical wins. Now, <laughs> those wins are a little harder to come by because you got to play a little bit more. Uh, like I just said, methodical. Um, you can't just you know click buttons. So this is a team definitely where you're not just gonna be clicking buttons. Um, every button you click on this team is gonna be important. Um, the only buttons you're gonna be clicking is flip turn on Barrascuta. Other than that, it's about mixing up your move sets. Um, getting Manaphy, Latias, or Mega Diancian at the time is right and setting up and hopefully uh, You know uh, squeezing out a win between those three Pokemon, but I'd really like to see some more Manaphy I think Manaphy is a huge win con for your team Fairly easy to set up um, Basically outpaces a lot of the cast um, You know uh, We go to the draft here So if we go and see what the teams are, can't remember who Matt is versing in the next weeks, but 
Uh, we'll just... Okay, so you go... Let, let's just start with Lucas' team here. So Lucas' team. You have Greninja that outspeeds it. Wow, who cares? Greninja isn't going to do anything to Manaphy anyway. Nectric, yes, uh, outspeeds it. You're going to obviously not want to be in for that. Um, Tangrel doesn't outspeed it, and it doesn't 1v1 it. Um, Nidoking King does not outspeed it, and I don't think it 1v1s it. Because I don't think it can KO with Thunderbolt. Um, you go to Jared's team. Now, Jared's team made some trades, so his team is, you know, a, a little bit better, uh, like, faster now. Um, Mega Aerodactyl, it definitely outspeeds it, but you still, you set up Tail Glow. Um, you, I mean, you could just surf, too, and, and KO it. Um, Dragonite does not outspeed it. Infernape does. Uh, you speed tile with Volcarona. Guilteon outspeeds. You're outsped by Tauros, uh, but you outspeed Bell Awesome and the rest of his cast. Um, you go to Jace's team. Uh, you speed tile with Zapdos. You outspeed um, Swampert without rain. Uh, obviously, Pelipper Clefable. Don't outspeed Cart. You outspeed Gudra, Hitmontop, Murkrow, Dusclops, uh, not Ambipom. Uh, Magmar and Toxicroak. So, uh, you know, 328, like I said, base 100 speed is great. Um, you definitely can be abusing Manaphy a lot more. Um, I, I mean, especially because you got Polito in the rain. I mean, definitely be abusing Rest Talk or Rest Talk Manaphy. Sorry, not Rest Talk. Rest Manaphy, since it'll be healed by the hydration, anyways. Um, you could totally abuse that, right? <clears throat> Um, but yeah, as far as his team goes, I think his team, um, you know, similar to John's has potential. It's just going to be like how he, um, how he builds his teams and what he makes his win cons and make sure he spreads out the weaknesses, like make sure he splits up the weaknesses. Cause like I said, he's got a lot of overlapping weaknesses, but if he splits them up and he makes sure it's, you know, one to two, three maximum in his, in his match. Uh, I think his team can do really well. Um, but like I said, his wins are going to be coming from more methodical play. They're going to be a very patient style of game. Generally should probably be going longer in terms of turns. Now, if you set up early and you win, that's that's great. I'm just saying that this team, I feel like <clears throat> the longer the game goes, the better this team is. Um, I feel like this team wants to play the long game a little bit more now it doesn't have like reliable recovery on pilot swine or bronze on but the thing is is like that chip damage that you can pile up with bear scuda at rocks pilot swine bronze on um is gonna be really helpful later stages in the game uh and generally that's gonna be like 20 ish to 30 turns um which i would say is like <coughs> not long but um average uh but in this draft i feel like some some games are pretty short uh, 20 almost seems long in this in this meta draft so but yeah guys um thank you please uh bear with me and thank you for bearing with me um my hand is just not doing well i won't be able to go super in depth on these um and i just don't want to get any farther behind for you guys so uh, i'm going to do my best to you know be insightful on these and um if you have any comments either you know dm me mention them in the chat mention them below the youtube uh, wherever you feel you're comfortable to do that, just mention it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one.